and Trip and Cam tell us where we're at this week? We're in Madison, Indiana. It's about two hours south of Indianapolis, an hour northeast of Louisville, and an hour southwest of Cincinnati. Yep, and shout out to our Instagram culture of historic homes and historic buildings. It's because of them we found Madison. A lot of people have visited and taken pictures of it, and it looks really cool. So we decided to come visit. One of the things we like about it is that because we're outside of our region in the state of Illinois, the architectural style is different. It's much like Cincinnati and Columbus, and it's very prevalent on the downtown buildings, which is cool. So Madison's development ranges from the early 1800s up until the 1930s and obviously they're still building in present day and because of that there are so many different architectural styles prevalent in madison which makes it so great so it has federal buildings greek revival italianate and even some shotgun style architecture so it's very diverse let's start off with the crown jewel of the madison historic district this is the lanier mansion it's an 1844 greek revival the original owner james lanier was one of the pioneers of Madison, moving there in the early 1800s. He was a prominent banker and major investor in Indiana's first railroad. The house was deemed a state landmark in 1926, and it was added to the National Register in 1994. And it, one of its acclaims is that it's one of the finest examples of Greek revival architecture in the country. So this house is pretty special. So this has got to be one of the most famous buildings in downtown Madison, the Masonic Lodge. There's only a couple Second Empire buildings in the city, and this is a great example of it. It was built in 1871 or 1872. It's symmetrical. And one of the cool characteristics about it is that there is this large center gable rising above the mansard roof. It's a nice detail. It has a lot of presence on Main Street. Right now we're outside of 512 East Main Street. This is an Italianate apartment building that was built in 1870. Again, so the Lanier Mansion is like a really good example of Greek Revival architecture. And this apartment building is definitely Madison's finest example of Italianate architecture. This building boasts elaborate window caps, a very intricate bracketed cornice line. And what I think is really interesting is that the third floor windows break the cornice line very intentionally, which is pretty cool and pretty unique. Next door is 514 East Main Street. This is a Queen Anne East Lake house that was built in 1890. The beveled corners with the detailed projections, it has a lot of wood lace detail, which all make it good examples of the typical East Lake ornamentation. This is 704 West 2nd Street. It's an 1870 Victorian Italianate home. What's cool about this place is that, first off, 
it has a, its own cast iron fountain in the lawn. So it has like a mini Broadway fountain to itself on the property. Also something I was reading online is that it originally had a three-story observatory or cupola. So that's really interesting. I don't know what happened to it, but the house is immaculately kept and I'm sure they wish they had it still. Most beautiful front door award goes to that pair of doors behind me. They're insane. This is 620 West Main Street. It's an Italianate from 1855. And this porch, guys, this is a lacy cast iron porch that spans the front of the house. This is not something that we have really come across in Italianates or honestly in any of the homes in this period, at least in the Midwest. It is reminiscent of New Orleans style architecture. And maybe because we're further south in Indiana, we're seeing some influence from the Southern states of the US. So it's really interesting and really lovely. Another really cool building in downtown Madison. This is 317 Main Street. This is the Kohler building. What I loved about this building is the arched windows at the base. So this is a cast iron facade. I love the scale of the windows and how tall they are. Let's talk about the Broadway fountain. This fountain was originally on display at the 1876 Philadelphia Centennial Exposition. And it was purchased and presented to the city of Madison in 1884. It's stunning in person. We saw a lot of, about this fountain before we came and I honestly kind of didn't get it, but once we saw it in person, I understand its beauty and why it's so important to the city of Madison. It's approximately 26 feet high, 35 feet wide, so it's very large, and it was designed after the Place de la Concorde fountain in Paris and London's Crystal Palace, so that's pretty legit. Another wonderful group of buildings is the Broadway Row Houses. These are a block from the Fountain off Broadway. Their addresses are 503 to 509. These homes were built from 1838 to 1850. So I think two of them were built together and then they were added on later, some other additional row homes. They're originally a federal style, but through time they have a mixture of stylistic elements such as the Italian eight cornices were added later. So they all have their own unique identity after the subsequent remodeling of the exterior. Also, the corner unit has windows on the opposite side with all that same Italianate detailing and even some detail at the front door. They're beautiful. These were some of my favorite homes and building in Madison. Right now we're at the fountain in Madison and I'm gonna make an early judgment call and say that this house behind me is my favorite house. I love houses with dark painted exteriors and I absolutely love Italian eight homes.
So we're going to wrap the video up here. We hope you enjoyed our weekend in Madison, but before we go, I briefly wanted to talk about the 1894 Lodge, which is a restaurant located in New Washington. It's about a half hour from Madison, and it is incredible. The food was amazing, and this restaurant has a lot of history. It was the first building in town, and it was built as a Masonic Lodge. It served as a school and a movie theater to the community, and now it's a restaurant, and if you're around the area, you should definitely check it out.